My name is Flash Isaac and I'm a teacher from the future. When I was much younger, I saw thousands and thousands of people fail jam and unable to gain admission. This made me travel in time. Now I am back with the Flash Letters Jam app and a series on YouTube tagged 120 Days to Jam. My mission is to help you blast jam and as well get justice for everyone who jam has served breakfast. This is episode number 84 of the 120 Days to Jam Mathematics with Flash Isaac. In this episode, we shall be solving some questions under measuration. The first question we have here says, a cylindrical tank has a capacity of 30, 80 meter cube. Capacity, and the formula is, the unit is a meter cube. That is obviously the volume. Volume is a meter cube. What is the depth of the tank if the diameter of its base is 14 meters? Diameter is equals 14 meters. Depth is height. What is the height of the cylinder? Now, from the previous episode, we are able to look at the formula for the volume of a cylinder. And we found out that the volume of a cylinder is pi r square h. Now, we have v. Pi is constant. Then, we are looking for height. Do we have radius? No. But we are given diameter. Radius is when you divide diameter by 2. So, 14 divided by 2 is 7. The radius is 7 meter. I think from here, food is ready. You can choose to make height subject formula first and start substituting. Or you substitute and along the way, you make h subject formula. Let's make h subject formula. Here becomes pi arrows here. Here becomes pi arrows here. Pi arrows squared divided by pi arrows here is 1. h is therefore v over pi arrows squared. And this is 10 p a t over 22 over 7 times 7 squared. This is basically how it is done. This should give you 20 meters if solved correctly. Let's see the next question. A sector of a circle has an area of 55 centimeters squared. Area of sector is equal to 55 centimeters squared. That is the area of a sector. If the radius, the arrow of sector is 10 cm. Calculate the angle. Theta is equal to question. Taking pi to be 22 over 7. So, which formula is connecting theta, radius, Pi, an area of sector. Ladies and gentlemen, area of sector is theta over 360 times pi r squared. This is the formula for calculating the area of sector. Now, this is the same thing as A is equals theta pi r squared over 360 degrees. We have pi, we have arrow, we have a. What we basically need is theta. With that, we can make theta subject formula to have 360 a over pi arrow squared is equals theta. And I have many episodes which cover change of subject formula. If you still have problem with change of subject formula, I advise that you look at those episodes. From here, I think food is ready. Theta becomes 360. 360 times 
Hey, area is 55. 55 over pi. 22 over 7 times arrow 10. And arrow squared is 10 squared. 10 squared. That is basically it. Your theta should be. Let me see if everything is correct. 360 times area times 55 over pi. 22 over 7 times 10 squared. That should give you 63 degrees. So, that is basically your answer. The volume of a hemispherical bowl is 708 2 over 3. This is the volume of the hemisphere. Find the radius. Radius is equal to question. Take pi to be 22 over 7. Ladies and gentlemen, this is the formula for calculating the volume of a hemisphere. But we need not panic because we are obviously given the volume already. And what is the volume? 718, 2 over 3. That is a missed fraction. We need to convert the missed fraction to improper fraction. And that will be 718 times 3 plus 2 all over 3. That should be 2156 over 3 to be equals 2 over 3 times 22 over 7 times arrow raised to the power of 3. Cross multiplying or whatever you wish to do, you should have 2156 over 3. Um, this is okay. 44 over 21 arrow cube. Arrow cube should be 2156 times 21 mm -hmm. over 3 times 44. Yes, that should be your answer. And solving this, you get arrow to be the cube root of this guy. And that will give you 7 centimeter. For example, arrow cube, arrow cube is uh, 3, 4, 3. And cube root is something that you multiply 3 times to give you 3, 4, 3. If you check all the options, 7 is the only one you multiply 3 times to give you 3, 4, 3. 7 times 7 times 7 will give you this. So that is the cube root, ladies and gentlemen. With this, we come to the end of this episode. I hope you found this helpful. If so, subscribe to this channel and tell your friends about it. Take care of yourself. See you in the next episode.